you too, friends and family. I'm a survivor and thriver here. Guys, I have some very exciting news to share with you about my quail raising adventure. <laughs> I was initially going to build my own cage for raising quail. And then I started looking at the expenses of buying all the uh, wood and all that and realized that it may be cheaper for me to go out and buy my own quail cage. So what I did was I scanned Craigslist to see if they had any cages that would be beneficial to my quail for, for me raising quail. So I found this quail cage. Actually, it's a chicken hutch or chicken coop. And this guy, I found out he makes them. So what I did was I initially, I immediately fell in love with this coop. It was $160 and I called this guy up. Well, come to find out this guy is retired and he earns extra money doing this thing, building these cages. And he also builds all other types of cages. So I met him in person. He took, he gave me a tour of his yard where he has all of his vegetables growing and his chicken coop, his with his chickens, he get it, he's getting fresh eggs every day, and I was just so impressed. So I think I will be a longtime friend with this guy. <laughs> anyway, guys, I wanted to share my chicken coop with you. And although I got this as my main um, quail raising coop, I am going to build um, grow out um, cages for the ones that I plan on butchering. So here we go, guys. My introduction to my well raising coop all right so here we go what I did was I used a 55 gallon barrel drum cut it in half and I placed it underneath the coop to catch all of the the quail droppings and what I'm gonna do is add some worms in there some composting worms to compost all of the the droppings that goes that comes out from the quail so here is a gander at it. I am so happy with it. I love the design of it, although I might make a few changes. But here it is. I'm going to give you a close-up. This is the first little door here. And you go inside. What I'm going to do, the guy is going to build me two nesting boxes to go in here. Because I want my quail to be very happy and um, feel at home, you know, um, when they start to hatch out, not so, I'm sorry, not hatch out, but to, um, you know, give me eggs and all that. They, I found out they like to have a private place to go into, so he's going to build two boxes in there that's going to be ready for me for um, on this Wednesday. And, um, yeah, let me close this up. Take you around this way. What I'm going to do is take out this wire here and um, put a door here. So whenever I want to harvest, you know, the quail or take them out to weigh them or anything like that, it'll be much easier for me to just open this, this door up here, go inside with my little butterfly net, capture one of them and weigh them or do whatever I need to do with them. If they get sick or injured, it'll be easier for me to take it out, take them out. And here is the other door. And you see the other side of the cage from here okay so initially I was going to place this cage on the other side of the house but I decided to try it out here for now and please excuse the mess I'm having a lot of renovations done inside because I had to tear up the pipe in the floor of my kitchen and my bathroom so there's a big mess in there um, but you know <laughs> things are strewn everywhere and it's really killing me <laughs> but you know hey you just have to do what you have to do so again guys let me give you a gander of my main quail breeding coop here and the guy told me i could raise 15 quail in here but we'll see i don't want to put too many in there because i want them to be nice and comfortable and like i said i'm also I'm, what i'm going to do is build a grow out cage for the ones that I plan on butchering out or um, whatever I need to do with the extra quail. All right, guys, you know how it goes. If you wanna be like me, I'm a survivor and thriver, out.